Hey everyone, Paolo here, so welcome back to my channel. On this video, we're going to learn how to use MySQL on Django. So to get started, um, I already have some software installed on my computer. I already have MySQL 8 running on my computer. I also have a MAMP stack running. I have Apache and PHP and PHP my admin. So if you want to check those out, check my uh, other videos. But this is just focusing on getting Django up and running using MySQL. So I have a directory here. I'm just going to create a new folder here. Um, I'm going to say YouTube demo. And I'm going to open this on Visual Studio Code. So I already have Python installed. Um, what I normally do is I use a pip environment. So I go to pipenv and go to shell. So what this allows me to do is um, work on a virtualized environment where I could install all the software I need uh, for development. So if I quickly go to pip list, uh, you would see that these are, let me bring this up a little bit further. Anyway, so these are the packages or modules that are installed on my machine. So if I, yeah. Um, uh, what I need to install is Django, so I could go pip install Django. Yep, installed. If I go again to pip list, um, I should have Django installed. I also need um, my SQL client, so pip install my SQL client. Cool, so that's all I need. Now I could create a project inside here uh, using Django admin. So I'm not going to cover uh, Django for now. Um, might cover them in another tutorial. But here I'm going to just call uh, Django admin start project and say YouTube uh, MySQL demo. And of course you can have that kind of naming. I'm just going to roll all those dashes. And it should create a folder here for me. So inside the folder, I'll have the manage pie, which is the one we used um, to run commands. And inside, we'll have the settings pie. Um, so in here, uh, you would see all the configuration you need for secret key, um, allowed host, installed apps, and some middleware, um, also the directory for some templates. What we're interested in is the database. So by default, the database is SQL Lite 3. You want to change this to uh, MySQL. So let me just do that. Uh, for the host, uh, for the name, change that to the database name. Um, let's call the database uh, YouTube demo. And put in um, your username and password. So I have this running locally in my machine. I have a user called Olipsman and password. I have a generic password one two three four five six seven eight and hosts would be one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one um, you could also add the port if you know the port but uh, for me I don't need to add that but normally the port is uh, three three zero six so once I get this um, I could try running it and see what would happen so if i go to this directory uh, youtube demo do a list i need the manage pi so if i say um, python manage pi and then run server i'm probably gonna hit this error so this error um, which i found very strange is uh, actually referencing the uh, my SQL lib uh, client um, and it's not uh, being loaded properly. So what we need to do here is create a symbolic link. So if you don't know what symbolic link, it's like an alias for the uh, package or application that you want to execute. So what I will do is I'm going to locate where the existing lib client is. So let me just copy that properly and create a symbolic link. 
So you can hit Control C here to cancel this out. And you could do the locate function. So currently it's in the MySQL um, dash 8.012 directory where I have my local MySQL running. So I need to create a symbolic link here. So I just do sudo ls ln dash n. So that directory and the directory you want to um, make the symbolic link to is the user local local live and copy this there and type in a password and that should be all right so if i now run uh, the same command python manage by run server and this time it says unknown database so this is because we haven't created the database yet so let me exit that. Uh, I could create another shell here. So here I could go to my SQL dash U and username would be Olopsman password. And I enter my chunky password. And from here, um, I could create a database. I could create database and paste YouTube demo. Mm. I think I'm not allowed to do that here, so let's put that like that. Um, create database. Let's try YouTube demo without the dash. Yep, so without a dash is fine. So I'll just modify my settings by here and remove that dash. Cool. Now, I'm not going to exit this because um, I'm going to show you what the tables are going to be created. So if I say use YouTube demo and say show tables, you would see the table is empty. So if I go back to my Python terminal here, and I now run the run server, I should get this warning saying there's an unapplied migration, which means there's some data to be loaded. And I haven't done that. But if I open this link, I should be able to see the default Django um, installation. So this is working. Uh, we just need to run this command. So it says run manage by migrate. So copy this, exit this, control C, paste that command. And it's now applied all those scripts and should cr have created some tables on my database. If I open this and say show tables, you'd see that now it has the tables loaded. Cool. So um, that's how you sync up and uh, hook up MySQL using uh, Django. So hope you like this tip. Uh, more to come. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.